Hello, welcome to another video. So, uh, this video I'm going to talk about how to get in shape, the first step. And before I even tell you anything about uh, what I recommend doing, I should tell you about how I got fat and then got fit later in life. And then I'm still fit to this day. And if you want to know, yes, I have a six pack. Just tell you that I know what I'm talking about, okay? And I train people. Uh, as well so I think I know a bit about this topic for you guys to know about okay so let's talk about how I got fat the answer is very simple I got a girlfriend <laughs> once I had a girlfriend we started going out a lot we started eating out we started going to restaurants you know eating pasta and going to nice cafes and eating a lot of desserts and she's eating a lot of uh, the very delicious food that I wasn't uh, used to eating regularly and here honey eat this and here honey try this uh, if you don't eat this blah 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 you're gonna make me angry and all that and blah 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 I got fat okay and a lot of people can relate to this once you get into a relationship you start going out and eating foods that, you know, you shouldn't be eating. So, uh, I was in a relationship for one girl, with one girl, for over seven years. And during that time, I just gradually became fat and fatter and fatter and fatter. And, uh, yeah, it, it took a long time. It just slowly developed. Okay, so if you are fat right now, don't be ashamed, okay? I know where you're from. I, I know how it happened. And uh, don't get offended by what I'm about to say, okay? The only reason that I stopped being fat was because I broke up with her. The moment I broke up with my girlfriend, you know, after seven years, was the day my fitness journey started. Okay, or re or kickstarted again, restarted again, because I was fit before I met her, actually. So there you go. So you know what happens to most people when they get out of a serious relationship? The first thing they do is they start hitting the gym. They start losing the weight. They gotta, you know, they're they're so motivated and driven because they want to attract, you know, a, a new partner in life, and that's. Truthfully, like my best clients, the people that really stick to this fitness journey are the ones that have nothing else to lose because they've, they've lost everything. You know, once they, they, their heart gets broken, they have nothing but motivation just to, you know, kick ass and, you know, do whatever it takes to become fit again. So I know what it takes to become fat. Okay, it's not, it just, it doesn't happen overnight. It just happens gradually over time. And you're happy being fat. Some people are, are content being the way they are, being overweight, out of shape. Some people are like that, you know, their personality or just the people they surround themselves with, you know, their girlfriend or their wife or their partner, who, whoever they're with, you know, their habits bounce off each other, you know, eating ice cream going for desserts, eating out in restaurants, all that. So if you want to get in shape, seriously, you need to do something that is basically you're, you're never going to go back to a point of no return. So for me, losing weight is kind of like, I don't know, like relocating to Japan. If I told you, hey, today we're going to relocate you to Japan and you're going to live in Japan for the rest of your life. What would you say to that? You would be shocked. You'd be like, Justin, I don't speak Japanese. I don't understand the Japanese culture. I don't know but know anybody in Japan. I don't know, you know what to do in Japan. It's, it's scary. I know. And that's what fitness is like for a, person, for a person who's not fit. It's uncomfortable. Right? And to live in Japan and never return back to I don't, know, I don't know where you live, like English-speaking country, like North America, is scary. So usually the people who, who choose this path, the fitness, you can never go back to the way you were ever again. So you got to realize that you are on a speeding train. I am on a speeding train that is on the path towards fitness. You are on a speeding train towards a path towards 
unhealthiness. Okay, and you got to either stop that train dead in its tracks in order to go the opposite direction, which means usually like a breakup, breaking up with the person you love or cutting ties with the people around you. It's usually the people around you that are influencing you. Or do what most other people do is just do a gradual U-turn towards the other direction. It's, it's, a, it's a dilemma. It's like, do you rip the Band-Aid off really quickly or do you slowly rip it off and endure all that pain? I don't know. For me, it was uh, the, the prior, okay? Psh, I had to rip that Band-Aid straight off after I broke up with my girlfriend. So keep that in mind, okay? It's not easy getting fit, and uh, especially when you've been so fat all your life. But I'm fit now, so I'm about to give you some advice in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. My name is Justin, and bye! <laughs>